Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is ITTV. Hello, Into Tomorrow fans. I'm Jason Burns, and my buddy Rob Elmanz and myself are covering the launch of the HTC Evo here at a Sprint store in Miami. We have been following this cutting-edge phone since it was announced at CTIA Wireless back in March in Las Vegas. We were excited then, and we're excited now, and let's take it inside with Rob Elmanza. We're having a lot of fun here at the Sprint store, all about the HTC Evo, and we're talking to MSL. How are you, sir? Excellent. And yourself? Great, thanks. Now, what has you most excited about the Evo? My sister actually moved out of town. She went up to North Carolina, and there's a great feature on the phone called Friendstream, and that way she can put any comments on it, how should her day is going, if she's happy, sad. You know, if her baby, it was a newborn baby, did something new, she posted on there. Well, with Friendstream, I can go into the application, I can see what happened, and it just keeps me more connected with her, even though she's in another state. Another cool feature about it is that I can link my contacts. So the cool thing about Facebook and Friendstream and the Evo is that you can synchronize all your contacts together so basically like my brother's into music my brother-in-law's into music a lot so when he posts like you know they're having a party at such and such uh, you know club you know because I have my contacts linked to Facebook I, he posted I can see the calendar update and if I want to go to that club that night I could just you know I know that it's on that date so it's excellent I mean I love it what's your experience with the email on the Evo have you had success with it everything's great yeah, you know, I, I haven't had any problems with it. I've actually loaded what they call a widget, which is an application where I can actually see the emails and I can flicker them through, like if they're postcards, which is excellent for me. So, like, say, you know, I don't want to respond to my boss's email. He emails a lot. <laughs> but if I don't want to respond to it, I can just, oh, it's a quick card, filter it through, and I'm done. <laughs> that reminds me of Dave Graveline. He lives on email. I mean, it's no longer about talking on the phone anymore. It's, did you get my email? Did yeah. you get my text? Or did you see my post on Facebook? Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and you know, it's a, another cool thing on it. It's got voice to text. So let's say I, I want to respond back to it. I hit the little speakerphone. I say, hey, I will call you back. And it'll email him. And I don't have to actually type it in. And you can do that either on the mail or you can do it also on text messaging. So, I mean, it saves you a lot of time. And it saves you get from getting into a lot of car accidents. You know? <laughs> when I'm here with my friend... Dr. Burak, and he just picked up the HTC Evo. Doctor, why don't you tell us why you picked up this phone? I picked up the Evo TiVo because I have the Palm Pre, and the phone is too small. It's hard to work with. This is more on the updated iPhone. I was looking to get an iPhone, then I heard this phone came out, and this is the best phone that ever came out from all the people I've spoken to. So. This morning, my associate was here at 6 a.m. I'm now picking up mine, and I'm very excited to have the new phone, and, and I'm really looking forward to using it. Being that it's so much easier to use, and so much bigger, and able to work with it in a much better manner. Now, Rob and I are both very much iPhone users and uh, Apple everything. So why the HTC Evo over maybe a new iPhone or waiting another month or so till the next iPhone generation of iPhone comes out? I love Sprint. So we're talking to John, he's from Sprint. How are you, John? I'm great, how are you? Excellent, now what has you most excited about the HTC Evo today? Well, we're launching today, we've got lots of customers out here in Miami, lots of customers everywhere. I think this is a great phone, it's uh, got so much going for it. What applications have you been playing with? Well, okay, I'll be honest, one of my favorite ones is right here, it's Into Tomorrow. Click on it, Into Tomorrow with Dave Graveline. You guys have your own application on here right now. Uh, so you can go to the website. You can actually even email Dave from here. Um, click on it, email it, text, and it populates this little email for you. You can talk to Dave about whatever you want. I'm sure he loves that. You can also call him from here, leave a voice message, and you can stream uh, the radio show so you can listen to it on here also. We like John. That's very cool that he downloaded our app. Plus, it's free, so if you guys have an Android phone or the Evo, you can get it today. But what other apps have you been playing with? Oh, and also, actually. The kickstand on this. This is a kickstand, so if you want to set this out here, it just goes like that on your desk. So when you're listening to the show, you can listen to it like that. That's great. We're now back at our Into Tomorrow studios, and although the store we were at wasn't as busy as we expected, we did get word that other Sprint stores did sell over 100 Evos within an hour. So that was pretty cool. Now, did you get one? Are you planning on getting the Evo? Why, why not? We want to hear from you. So be sure to log on to intertomorrow.com where you can tune into next week's broadcast and watch our latest ITTV update. We're going to go into full detail with our take about the HTC Evo. So be sure to stay tuned next week. For Into Tomorrow, I'm Rob Almanza.